Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back doing another video. Today, we're just gonna be kind of like walking around talking, I guess you could say. But yeah, what was I gonna tell y'all? Yeah, a lot more videos are coming out. Basketball season's over now. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna go show y'all the dirt bike, get more in depth, and just like look at it. I like it. It's not really, it's my sister's, but I still like it. It's electric start, see? Right there. It's pretty cool. We don't got a clutch. I don't know why. I mean, it is cheaper. Then it's got that right there. I don't really like how that's in the way, but it don't bother me because I ain't mind the most. I made sure she's getting 420s, the number on there, right there. I'm going to put it on the side. I'm doing her graphics. She's probably going to get some new graphics. And we're gonna do some painting on the seat and like some touching up on it. I wish we could get this sticker redone right there. Cause it's really peeled. I don't know, it's kinda peeled on this side, but it's not that much. We're still trying to find out what's wrong with it. We're gonna go get it a new battery. And if that don't work, or they had another one just like it that we could get, we're gonna go see if we can get that one to work. But we do have to do cords. The new battery's not just gonna magically fix it. Now I'm gonna go show y'all. Warning. I mean, I don't want to make any of y'all jealous. I don't want to get y'all thinking I'm rich or nothing when I show y'all this vehicle. Y'all going to be amazed. Y'all about to go see the Pimp Mobile. I swear, bro. Y'all going to, like, I'm not trying to flex at all. So no one, like, think I'm flexing, and please don't take offense to this. Because I'm not flexing, I, tr I promise. I think it's still got the old bait case on it, too, that I left on there. I'm probably about to move that, because that thing is kind of a flick. It was from my grandpa. Don't mind look at the trash on the bait. What well, we got, the Pimp Mobile. Look at it, the flat tires. I'm buying some new tires and new rims. We're gonna have it looking sick. I'm gonna see if I can get it moving. No, the battery's dead. The battery's dead. That's so depressing, man. Oh, why did the battery die? Darn it, bro. The battery. <laughs> oh, well. I got I got the charger for the battery anyway. This seat's looking fresh, though. Look, take a look at the inside. Yes, the, it's the battery. It's not working. Or either it just don't got gas. It does have gas. That probably needs to be drained. It's got a little bit of gas in it, but it's probably going to have to be drained. Let's look at the back. Oh, we got the back seat right there. Light bulb. I'll move all this stuff off here. The vase with the coffee thing is uh move this under the shelter. Oh yeah, here's our boat. It runs fine. We just don't really take it out that much. Hopefully this summer we're gonna take it out fishing. It's actually pretty nice. It's got our little sprayer for deer season that goes on the ranger, but now we're putting we'll probably still use the ranger for that because we don't really feel like we're putting it on the new uh, cinder block, I don't really like you, man. In the back. I don't know if y'all saw that, but I just give you a stick over there. I don't know why we don't use this gas tank. I really like this one. This bird's, this paint caster was bird's nested when I got it. And the line's already kind of messed up on it. It was my grandpa, so it didn't really work. I'm gonna try and get the bird's nest out of it. Is it possible? I'm gonna hook that seat. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing. That's the bird's nest. Hope y'all can see that good. I'm about to try and get it out. There's no way it comes out. Oh, hmm. Actually, I'm just going to put it in there. This ain't coming out. There's no way. If I got it, yeah, there's a tangle, and I'm not cutting this line. I'm just going to reel it up, bird's nested. Oh, it tangled around this. Wasn't really paying attention. Dang it. My bad, y'all. I'm gonna get this untangled. 
There we go. Oh, I just untangled. Dang it. Alright, there. Not bad, y'all. I'm gonna go set this over here. Kind of want to buy a lens cover up or things for when we make building videos. The lens kind of needs some cleaning. Oh yeah, you got the Costa sticker too. Ooh. Looking heat. What other stickers we got? Oh, the Giuseppe's Pizza. I don't know who put that Pura Vita, whatever bracelet, that, whatever that sissy crap is. Oh, they're probably my mom and my sister. I don't know why they want to ruin the pimp mobile. Put it on the pimp mobile. Oh, Hilton Head Islands. Yeti in the Arctic, but it's peeled. I kind of just remember the Arctic being there. Man, these sticks don't stop falling on the pimp mobile, I swear. I'm gonna move this. That does. That little cinder block. Put my old rusted seed sputters up. Move this gas tank. But yeah, he had to charge her real quick we get it. Oh, yeah, look at the water in the headlights. You know she's a submarine. You already know she's a submarine. This one ain't got no water in it. This one's still good. Might get a light bar for it once we get it fixed. I know I'm getting some pimped out tires. I'm gonna get a new, I'm, I'm gonna take this out, just rip that out. Oh, that's not even hooked up. I don't know what happened to this. Actually, no, I'm not gonna, I'm probably just gonna get a speaker installed down there. And that'll be a better idea. I'm just get it installed in that. And just leave that chill in there, I guess. Put a light bar like right there. Well, the little black thing in the front. I forgot what they're called. I'm going to try and get the seats fixed in the back. That'd be nice. So we don't have to. We have the pimp. The, other, the pimp seat right here. I bought this for a hundred. Oh, heck no. It's got the orange juice. The orange juice spilt, y'all. I bought that at the school store for a hundred bucks. Not a hundred bucks. A hundred points. Oh, heck no. You got orange juice pouring out of you. Get on out there. I don't like that gravy looking stuff. I'll wash this later. No orange juice off eventually. And I'm gonna get a new seat for the back. But yeah. Let's look at how our beautiful boat. It needs to be cleaned out too, to be honest. Oh, this thing right here. It's bad news. It'll pick up every little metal thing there is. Watch. Yeah. Can it move this is the question. This little pin. Nope. License plate. Oh, and the headlights on this boat trailer don't work. Because when somebody was a puppy, they used to do bad things and chew stuff up. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Stop looking at me like that, man. We're gonna go to the roost. Just climbing in the attic because my mom put a bunch of my camera gear out up there when we was cleaning the house out. <laughs> if y'all watch Braden Price, I wonder if y'all do. Let me know. Comment down below with y'all thoughts. I don't know if y'all saw it yet, but he posted on his Snapchat and on his Instagram store where his new. Oh, it's Echo in here. Echo! His new Renegade 1000. It's yellow and black. Drop it if y'all think it's heat or not, if it looks good. I'm gonna do a little bit of walking because I'm kind of chubby and we need to lose some weight. I'm not going through the field, man. Oh, I'm gonna show y'all this new little CO2 pistol we got. I ain't gonna shoot no CO2s out of it, but that thing is bad news. We done killed a bunch of them little green Tweety Birds up trees here. I think we still got one in the yard that my dad shot. He killed one. I killed like eight or nine. I ain't shot it that much though. So I wonder if my CO2 when it's still good. Here it is. It's brown now. It's kind of rotted. There it is. We dropped it. I'm just going to zoom in. I could have just done that. 
Look at it. He shot it. It was just sitting on the ground and he shot it. He's just chilling. His pellets came today. What you eating, man? My dad's pellets. Oh, um, here it is. Y'all see this? I don't want to shoot it in here. Gun safety, kids, remember. Oh, this CO2 is kind of faded. It don't sound as powerful as it normally does. But it almost sounds like a gunshot when you got a fresh CO2 in it. I'm trying to squeeze the trigger like that. But if I want to shoot it fast, I can go. I might have be racist already. Yeah, this CO2 is faded away. Let me see if it is. Yeah, now it's not even using the CO2, but when it is, oh, that's a bad little thing. Well, love how I just talked about gun safety, but I was seeing if I could feel the pressure from the CO2 by pointing it at my arm. Don't be like me. Shut up, bird. I know, you, I know you're not laughing at me. You got a triangle head, woodpecker. Yeah, that's why you folded. Look at him running. Look at him. He folded. I don't know if y'all can see him, but that's why you folded. Get out the yard. That's why when I was like seven, I shot you with... I don't know how they've been here since I was like seven. It might have been nine. They've been here forever, though. I shot him with a BB gun out of the tree. He like kind of just looked at me, and then he landed on the ground, and I shot him again. He kind of like rolled, dropped down, and then he flew away, and my mom got mad at me. Man, when I was seven with them little daisy BB guns, I was accurate, man. Ooh, mud puddles. If y'all know me, I know y'all know I love my mud puddles. Especially at school on rainy days, I jump in all the mud puddles. One day I did in front of my mom right when she was picking me up. Because there was one in the sidewalk and she got mad at me. It's kind of funny to be honest. This fool and I rode one time. Me and my dad did the city's work. We cut it up in pieces and where you could drive around it. We didn't move it though. The city came and hit it. We cut it up in pieces like that. We moved most of the pieces to our little bonfire pit though. Cause we were planning on having a huge bonfire one day. We're building up the pit some more. It's already big enough, but he wants to start a forest fire apparently. I'm just kidding, in St. California. I think my little cousin Reese is at my grand's. Well, she was, she was. And she wouldn't, didn't want me to leave, but I told her I had to. And because she was extra wild today. I'm no longer on quarantine, and that's pretty sad. They moved it to one week for some reason. I'm going to be honest with y'all. This crap is complete bull crap. They're making up the rules now. Now it's only you got to be out for a week. They're just making up the rules as they go. Just look at this little muddy road and see how it's done. I'm probably gonna make a riding video tomorrow. Hopefully Thursday, my mom will let me have Bryson and Slade over. And then we're gonna have a lit video, just sending it and fishing. And just doing stupid stuff like we always do. Man, I wish I could bring the GoPro to school. Content would be so good if I could just record at school. I swear. I have too good of a time for it to be school, joking around. Hey, what did I want to, oh, I'm gonna go show y'all Barney. When I, y'all thought the other pimp mobile was bad, wait till y'all see Barney. And wait, I'm not trying to flex it all here. I wasn't even trying to flex the last pimp mobile, the camo pimp mobile. But this pimp mobile, it's my dad's. For, I would call it country club, but it ain't even that. It's just a golf course, and it's really old, and it's kind of crappy. Well, he got it for the golf course. For him to play beer. I meant golf. I didn't mean to say beer. I meant golf. My bad. For him and his friends to ride while they play golf. But I'm telling y'all, y'all thought that last golf cart, last Pitmobile golf cart was heat. Wait till y'all see this one. Y'all gonna get swept up in water. So, this spring's broken. Because my sister and her friends don't know how to send it all. Like, how do you tear up the spring on a golf cart? 
this thing goes like 25 no joke and they were going too fast and they hit a bump for some reason and they broke the spring my dad was mad no he don't really care he's not gonna chill about stuff breaking he'd already had battery problems and stuff and it wouldn't start so we took it to the club car place in two towns from here I ain't got it fixed. Oh, hold up, I don't want to reveal her yet. When y'all see her, y'all are going to be swept out the water. You can see where the spring's messed up. He calls it the spring, but it's really the suspension. He's got to get it welded or either take it to club car. Oh, there's two really old beers in the back of this. Let me move them out. They're kind of rusty. I don't think I need them. Move this little bowl. All right, y'all ready? Oh, she got the googly eyes and everything. Heat. I look tires. Heat, man. I would drive it, but the battery's really dead. And the suspension's broke. Look at this. It's supposed to be up, but, like, the suspension's just broken. I can, like, make it like this. That's, like, how it's supposed to look, but I can't really lift it. It's how we're recording this. This is how it's supposed to look, like, on this side. But, yeah, that thing is heat. Y'all wanna see my bike from when I was like six? Look right there. That's the bike. This is my sister's bike. This is the real heat. Right here, the trader. I love this John Deere, man. About to sit in it. This thing is heat. It runs, but we just gotta get the, you know, the battery fixed, my bad, y'all. I mean to say, you know. Oh, I remember riding on this thing when my papa was alive as his. But it's my mom and dad's now. It just stays at my grand's because we don't have room in my house to keep it under shelter. It needs to touch up on the paint job, but it's a tractor. It don't gotta look pretty. Yeah, but we're gonna get a new battery for it. This thing is heat. Imagine we had tires like this on the four wheel. <laughs> That'd be funny. But yeah, this thing is absolute heat. I know I said that a lot this video. Like, yet again, I know, like, I'm not rich at all, guys. I'm not trying to flex. I know all these things are heat, but I'm not trying to flex. You want to see my grand? This thing stopped running about a year ago. It barely turns with these big old golf cart tires. For they're too thick for this little old thing. But here she is. Oh, if y'all want to see the winch I'm getting. I'm buying my winch mount this week. But I'll show y'all in here. Hey, if there's a ghost in here, don't bully me, man. I'm trying to make a video. Well, normally you guys like to bully me. I know. Oh, here's a ranger tire. This used to be a tire for the ranger. I know y'all probably can't see that good. The lighting's in here is horrible. I love it here, but there's the other one. Oh, here's my winch. It's a little champion 2000 pound. It's got a two year warranty on it. I'm just gonna put it on. I got it in like August. No, September. I bought it with birthday one. I don't even know what my own birthday is. Well, here's the like instructions and stuff to it. Here's the old Ranger tires. There's the back tires. Those are 11s, like width. They're, by, they're 25 by 11 by 12. Now we have 26s. We have nines in the front, tens in the back. Here's the other the little tens. Those are 25s. Yet again, we don't have the most aggressive tires on the Ranger. The Mills tires are all right. They're not really the most aggressive either. They're a lot better in mud than the Rangers were. Well, the Ranger did have, does have a lot more power than the Mule. Even though the Mule's 800 cc, and I don't know if, it, if it's cc, it might be EFI. And the Ranger's EFI, the Ranger's just way faster and you can tell it has more power. Do she took a tinkle? Oh, I'm gonna step in that tinkle. This is just a 20 minute video of me talking now. All my friends are at baseball right now. This is like getting dug up. I, I kind of feel bad. My grand don't care. She don't ride back here though. But I don't really like doing this to our yard. Oh, don't y'all love the sound of just stepping in the mud? <sighs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> y'all want to see some old shoot? Some old shoot? Come over here. We'll go through the pine tree, but I don't feel like doing that sometimes. It just feels kind of weird sometimes. 
All right, little Mr. Snakey, if you're over here. Yeah, I used to have a Jeep when I was little. Well, I don't need to tell you that. I gotta let Mr. Snakey know I come in peace. Mr. Snakey, I come in peace. Here's an old wagon, some old tires. Hey, I come in peace too, Mr. Briar. I don't like you. Mr. Snake, if you're under there, I, me and my dog are peaceful. There is my Jeep from when I was little. This thing is heat. It's got the boggage on it too. I think I used to drop it through a little bit of water. <gasps> Spider-Man bike's here too. Spider-Man bike. I haven't seen you in ages, my good old friend. Yeah, that's my Spider-Man bike. And there's just like tires, of, not tires, wheels. Wheels and tires, rims, we got it all over here. It's just a bunch of, an old dog pen. It's just a bunch of old farm equipment and stuff like that. There's an old push line more. Mr. Snakey, I come in peace. A bunch of other old farm equipment. I know we're in old four wheelers right? back here in the woods too, if you wanna go see that. Sorry I made this video so long today. I just felt like it. Might start selling stickers when we hit like about 500 subs. And I won't need to have no like fancy website or credit card. What it's gonna be is I'm gonna open a P.O. box, just send cash in an envelope, and you I'll send you the stickers to where you sent that the cash from. If that makes any sense. And like here's how I do it. If you send a dollar, you get what I say, five no, 10 stickers. You send $5, you get 30 stickers. Not 30 stickers, I mean, you get 50 stickers. Then if you send $10, you get 100 stickers. Well, that could change, because I don't know how much these stickers are gonna cost. I had a better, no, I said, well, I might do a dollar, I don't know, that seems high, a dollar for five stickers. No, I think I'm gonna do a dollar for five stickers, five dollars for 25 stickers, then ten dollars for 50, if that makes sense. So you're basically getting five dollars, five stickers a dollar, basically. I think that's what I'm gonna do. But it all depends on how much it costs to make these stickers, and then if that's successful, I'll probably make some little wristband bracelets and stuff like that. This road's getting dug out too, but it'll be fixed by the end of summer. It'll just go back down when next time we get rain. That road over there, we gotta get a tractor to fix it behind my house. People in my class watch this, that's probably the first time they ever heard me say tractor. <laughs> Cause I always say tractor. I'm about to go look at this field and by the creek. I think, I think I'm going to upload a 30 minute video today. Let's see, what are we looking at now? 23, yeah, probably about 30 minutes. I'm trying to talk about some interesting stuff, but I don't really know what. Let me think. Oh. Uh, well, yeah, I told you I'm working this summer. I plan to get on get this the a high lift snorkel kit made for hondas get that mounted on first and then i'm getting well after i get my tires probably gonna get aztecs now or either mega mayhems because the aztec 28s that's probably what i'm gonna get and then i'm gonna get my snorkel then this radiator relocator kit it's got like the, the southern flag on it i'm not getting that to do anything with civil war i don't care about none of that i'm getting it Cause I'm from the South personally and I want to represent the South. So don't even come at me with that. It's racist stuff. No, I am. Then after that, I'm gonna start saving for a dirt bike and hopefully get money for Christmas. And I'm gonna get a Honda CRF 250 for, um, just for me to have and ride. And I think you can get a license plate on it. So when I turn 16, it's street legal. These have air in them? These tires aren't even flat. No, they kind of are. They have holes in them, it looks like. Slate flipped this last time I was here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I don't feel like flipping this with one hand. There's a seat to it. A bunch of other random stuff. There's a battery. 500 CCA. 
There's my old play set from when I was a kid in the yard. Bro, I just like looking at all the stuff back here. It brings back so many memories from when I was little. That folder was my cousin Liz. It wasn't mine. I don't remember having it. I was too little. Same thing with that toy folder right over there. I don't know if you can see that. It's like right there in between them two trees. I walk. I walk to it. That wasn't mine, but I can find a bunch of stuff that was mine back here. There's an old TV. Watch that little sticky. There's gonna be a bunch of tires and just pipes looking things back here. There it is, that little four wheeler. Let me zoom in for y'all. That was probably his when he was a little baby. Come on, I'm gonna see if he wants to come over sometime. We'll just go ride in his truck. Um, let's see what I can remember from my childhood back here and stuff I see. I remember exactly where this TV came from. No, that's not the TV. I think that's in my grand shop, but I know one of my old TVs that I used to have my PS3 hooked up to is back here. And a TV, the TV I'm thinking of was what we had the Wii on. It was in my sister's room. Because that's where the Wii was for the longest time. Once I got my PS3, that's where we put it, and we rarely got on it. There's an old gas screw right there. There's so much old junk back here. There's like a gas storage container. I think that's what it is. I don't know. Though. Another gas screw. Oh, there's the diving board. Funny story. My dad and my Uncle Bear. They were... Well, he's not my uncle. He's not my cousin. But in, he's, basically, he's basically my uncle, though. We were playing there. We were doing dives and stuff off of it. And... My dad, then Barrett was like, watch this. He did like a dive off of it. My dad did a, went and do a front flip or a back flip, something. He jumped on it twice, that thing fell in when he jumped off. He landed on it in the water, I think. And it just was floating around, we got it up. But yeah, it just came right off. Lesson learned, don't let your dads and uncles do stupid stuff like that. It's funny, I have so many stories of just my dad and people like that and his friends doing stupid stuff and that was funny to me. I got them from as long as I can remember, I feel like. It's pretty deep back here. It was in the field the other day a little bit. Boost. Go get this stick, man. Boost. Boost. Go get the stick. Oh, that's a bad throw. Go get it. What are you doing? Why are you coming all the way around here, man? Another reason why he's not a hunting dog. He ain't trying to go fetch in the water. And he's going to try to see the stick. He don't even know where I threw it. I'm throwing another one. He wasn't paying me no mind. Deuce. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. It's flowing downstream. Go get it, buddy. Oh, he said, nah, I'm too lazy. Boosie. Oh. Hopefully our new puppy will be a hunting dog. I'm hoping so. This is just really a pet, to be honest. He's sort of a guard dog. He's just good at barking. He's really skittish. So he barks a lot. He's an alarm dog. He ain't a guard dog. He's an alarm dog. Flattened can bush light. Right there. Probably my dad's from when we used to hunt when I was younger. He's a natty light dude now. Well, I'll see y'all next video. Peace out if you watch this for. Oh, I didn't mean to welcome that. I really, I'm kind of slow. I really appreciate you and thank you. Please like and subscribe. I'm kind of desperate. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. That's what means a lot to me. So thank y'all. Peace out. Keep God on the morning.